Yo, what's up? So, finished work pretty early today. That was pretty cool. Smashed it out. Work, work, money, money, work, work, funny, money, funny, money, work. work. Came in and he was like, oh, you need to isolate anything? I said, nah, we'll be right. We won't be creating much dust. Turns out we created too much dust. Got the fireys out here, the smoke alarm. And I'm pretty certain that's like a ten to $15,000 call out fee. Lucky I don't own the company anymore because I'd be a bit annoyed. What a day for a Sunday. It's pretty cool. Got to meet the firemies. Nah, they don't. They're super expensive. For one truck, it's 1500 bucks. For two trucks, it's 3000 bucks. Just keeps going on. on. <clears throat> and it was all because we had to cut this chip rock area to get my drill in. And that smoke alarm right there went off. And since only firemen, the fire brigade can turn off the FIPs, the fire installation panels or whatever the inspector panels, they always have to come out. So if you set off an alarm, you have to pay for them to come and turn it off. Not us though, I don't think. Anyway, we've probably got another hour here to go. And then it's bloody home time. But then I've got heaps of work to catch up on for Alpha Fortis as well. What a lot of you don't know about me is I'm actually a professional. Yeah. One of these things, driver. <laughs> Ready for this? Take off. Yo, you wanna see some real speed, bitch? I'll show you some real speed. Uh, my friends is how you drive a. Is it called a Uber Lackers? But now, since I worked all week and yesterday, I don't know why I was tired as hell, so I had a nap and then we just chilled Saturday night. Normally, I get some work done on Saturday night if I work Saturdays. So, today, I got a lot of work to catch up on. I got some influencer marketing to get done. I have later to get done. Um, I also have to get this vlog done. I think that's about it for today, but I've only got about 10 hours left to work, if that. So yeah, it's going to be a fun day full of work. Hey, what's up? So I am going to, since this week has just been a shitty week with lockdown and can't even go to the gym today, so that sucks. Uh, I'm going to show you the supplements I take daily and why I take them because I think everybody should start taking supplements due to commercial farming or industrial farming, taking all the vitamins out of our foods. And other than getting supplements, you're probably not at your op optimal health because you're not getting enough of everything that you need. So I'm gonna take you through what I take and then see what you wanna do. And maybe you can get healthier as well. All right guys, so whew, we're gonna talk about Everything I take daily, our diets are pretty stuffed up at the moment. Like we just eat whatever we want, whenever we want. And there is no way we're getting all the nutrients daily that we need for our bodies to function properly and for us to be able to live longer and stay healthy for the rest of our lives. Or if we're not getting enough calcium mixed with vitamins A, D and K, our bones will get more brittle or have a higher chance of getting more brittle, which can turn into osteoporosis, uh, osteoarthritis, um, and I think it is osteoporosis, to be honest. Everything we do has an effect on something else we do, especially internally. So if you go and eat, say, deep fried food, whether it's chips, potato chips from the shop, like twisties, anything that's been deep fried, as soon as you eat that, the one, the, the bad bacteria in your stomach creates bad inflammatory chemicals. We also get these things called zombie cells, which if you wanna look at it from a layman's terms, it's where, uh, let's say you have a cell that has its outer membrane full of positive and negative charges and they all have a positive and neg negative charge to complete itself. Um, a zombie cell kind of comes in and doesn't have that positive charge. So then it's trying to take it from the surrounding cells, which then damages those surrounding cells. And it's kind of like they just keep fighting back and forth. <clears throat> and that's, that's kind of what cancer end up, end up, ends up becoming, just some sort of inflamed cell, whether it's in your lungs, whether it's skin, whether it's anything, it just starts inflaming, growing rapidly. And it, uh, we, our bodies go through this thing called autophagy. Um, autophagy is where we kind of, our cells kind of either eat the bad ones or they recycle them out or just get rid of them in general. 
when you get uh i guess a cluster of zombie cells or cells that really don't do anything and just keep growing they eventually die because all our cells eventually die i can't remember what the what the thing is that our whole body becomes like brand new within a year or something when it comes to a cellular basis so if you can imagine all these healthy cells either getting older or all these zombie cells coming in and attacking the healthy cells uh once there's a cluster of zombie cells or unhealthy cells if they don't go through that autophagy stage they're just going to keep growing and literally doing nothing so you're going to get like it's called a tumor obviously <clears throat> you're going to get these tumors of cells that literally do nothing but the body still sends them all the nutrients and everything it needs to do something because your body doesn't know that it's not doing anything so it keeps them alive through sending them the nutrients and then they just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until they start causing some sort of uh, issues throughout your whole body. That's pretty much the basics of cancer in general. So it is just a form of some inflammatory cell, I guess. So inflammation. We've also got recent studies with um, inflammation being pretty much the cause of all sicknesses and disease, uh, diseases diseases we just have to kind of keep chronic inflammation to a minimum everything we do daily if we stress we work too much we train too much uh, we take too much sugar too much salt anything too much will create some sort of inflammation the acute level inflammation is good so when you go to the gym and tear your muscle and it gets sore and swollen or whatever or if you roll your ankle say and it gets hot and swollen and you can't move it that's your body's healing system at play and that's that's acute inflammation that's what we do want otherwise if we're not getting that we're just not going to heal anything you eat either goes one way or the other uh, you can actually do a test called a Viome test, which is actually super interesting. It tells you how, what vitamins you're low on, what foods are bad for your bacteria, what foods are good for your bacteria. And from there, it gives you a list of all like your personal superfoods because we're all different. Feed the bad gut bacteria, that's really hard to say. It produces inflammatory chemicals, say deep fried foods. Um, for instance, I think mine's cauliflower is, I have to avoid cauliflower. It's super interesting because there's some things that you could be eating that you have no idea is bad for you, but it is. Anyway, the vice versa thing is uh, good bacteria gets, good gut bacteria gets fed and that's what delivers your nutrients or turns it in, turns the nutrients in your body into chemicals that your body can use elsewhere throughout your body and then that gets delivered through your bloodstream and fat. This is why I do this every day from the research I've done. Let's just get through it. Let's start with these. So every night, sleep is probably the most important thing humans have kind of started to not think about as much. Like we kind of don't care if we get four hours sleep and that's okay if you do it not very often, but if you do it on the nightly, um, it ends up affecting every part of your body, your memory, your brain health, your cardiovascular health. Rishi, for instance, this pretty much the way I can say it in layman's terms, it's just a, a double extract of um, mushrooms, not magic mushrooms, because fuck that, I've had acid before and it sent me ballistic. Uh, Rishi pretty much turns off your fight or flight response. And that is on all the time through our day and age as well, because we, we haven't adapted to our futuristic lifestyle compared to what we were when we we're living in caves whenever you release cortisol and other stress hormones your body is constantly in fight or flight not at resting stage and since we all stress a lot these days when you're sleeping and if if your fight or flight response is still high you're not going to get anywhere near as much sleep as you should as you should have or at least quality sleep you might get enough sleep but you're not getting quality deep sleep light sleep REM sleep reishi pretty much turns that off so because unless you live in a bad household or or on the street or whatever you don't really need that fight or flight response to be beaming while you're asleep unless your partner is going to kill you mix that with this thing called lion's mane found helps fight cancer reduces inflammation key but it supports i think it's neuron growth anyway i have this and this and i also have a thing called sleep mode which i don't think i have here but it's pretty much just melatonin and magnesium mixed together melatonin we actually create it naturally if you're looking at your phone for instance blue screen um if the lights in your house are orchestrating i guess daylight then our bodies don't really know when to start producing melatonin anymore. So I actually supplement it because I'm super, it's hard for me to sleep in general. I think it's because I'm ADHD. And we also have a red light 
in our room because that simulates um, the sun setting, which then your body goes, oh, the sun's setting, I'm gonna start producing melatonin for you to sleep. So I have that as my nightly concoction, <clears throat> as well as, I'm gonna get these out and show you again because I've become a master of swallowing pills. So this Zen mode, it actually keeps people awake sometimes, but it doesn't with me. It has ashwagandha in it, and ashwagandha is one of the things that, it's supernatural, it's just a root. People should be taking it every single day. It supports muscle growth, it helps with relaxation, stops stress hormones. Supposedly there's been a few studies lately that show its effects with um, cancer as well to stop cancer. So I take them before bed with those and the sleep mode. And then I also have a teaspoon of raw honey. So raw honey is glucose, pure glucose. Glucose is the energy that our brain runs on. And at, throughout your sleep, if you're getting good enough sleep, your body starts to um, restore the glucose for energy for next day. If you, and, glu and glucose for honey for some reason, they don't really know why, but it doesn't raise your heart rate. So it doesn't keep your weight, even though it's pretty much pure natural sugar, it keeps your heart rate, it doesn't raise your heart rate. So you can have it without getting the high from what you would have from normal sugar. And if you're having a teaspoon of raw honey before bed, especially if it's not heat treated and it's organic, then it kind of skips that phase or it helps your brain store that glucose phase, uh, store that glucose or make that glucose for the next day without having to do it. So it kind of frees up your brain's time where it can then go into storing memories, um, cleaning itself. If you have CBD oil, that's actually really good as well, but that uh, kind of makes me too drowsy. So I haven't really been taking that. I actually take it when I have migraines though. Anyway, let's move on. That's will be 12. So this supports healthy cells, uh, protects your brain, improves energy, improves heart health, prevents neuro loss, improves mood, and a heap of other stuff. The thing that I like about Bulletproof, this isn't a sponsored ad or anything. I just, the guy, Dave Asprey, I don't know if you guys have heard of him, but he's done a lot of research into biohacking. He's like the godfather of biohacking. And he goes in and also puts the amount of, um, servings you should have in these to actually help your body and a lot of your stuff is bioidentical so it's kind of the exact same um, chemical structure that our bodies would normally produce i am uh, this is just a bunch of vitamin a um blend this is just obviously for eye health and um, vision glutathione we create this naturally but through stress on the daily we don't actually produce as much as what we need uh omega fish oil everybody knows about fish oil we should be taking a lot more fats than what we are told especially dha and there's dba dha i'm pretty sure dha is the one that we don't have enough of uh you can take fish oil but i take krill oil instead this is another blend it's got other stuff in it as well again which is why i like bulletproof and krill oil actually has a more potent type fish oil. Support brain and heart and joint health with a unique blend of essential fatty acids from kill oil, herring roe oil, wild fish oil, and borage seed oil, a uh, seed oil. Fight free radicals again and antioxidants again. I take one of the, I take two of these a day actually. I have one of these in the morning and one at night. We got ADK. This is one of my favorite ones to take. This one I never ever ever miss out on. Fun story. Again, this is going for ages. So thank you for all for watching if you're still here. Remember that old saying your parents would say when you're a kid to drink more milk because it makes your bones strong? Unless you're having sufficient vitamin D as well as sufficient vitamin A. Calcium, if you have too much of it, goes straight into your arteries and clogs them up, which can cause bad cardiovascular diseases, heart attacks, strokes even, because it can help with blood clotting. Without vitamin D, your body doesn't, without sufficient vitamin D, which is, we barely get it anymore, our bodies don't absorb calcium. So if you don't have enough calcium in your body, you won't absorb the calcium from the milk or whatever you're taking. Meaning your bones won't get stronger, your arteries will just start getting clogged up by the calcium. Vitamin A, again, this is bioavailable as well. Vitamin A helps your body absorb the vitamin D. So they both need to be in conjunction with each other to have that whole calcium strengthens your bone thing. Now, a fun story is there was a doctor, I can't remember his name, but he went to like the Amazonian tribes, like the prehistoric tribes. And he went to a few different ones and he was wondering why one specific tribe had really nice, straight, white, teeth no holes in them or anything um, partially it's because of their diet like our diet these days we eat a lot of sugar blah 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 goes in our bloodstream which then goes into our teeth and that's how we get holes 
but a lot of prehistoric tribes still had bad teeth because they never used to clean them. So this, this tribe was completely different because it, it, what he figured out is they were eating a root and I can't remember what they first, it was like vitamin X or something like that. That's what they named it to begin with because they didn't know what it was. But then they done a lot of research and they found out what gene it was turning on or what protein it was creating. And then they ended up calling it vitamin K. So what, so that since they were eating a lot of vitamin K, their bones were strong and they, they were actually, our bones actually have their own metabolization. So as your bone cells start to get older, remember everything in our body is a cell, it'll metabolize itself, so it'll shave itself off and then brand new ones will, new ones will come in. So as we get older, that obviously isn't as proficient as what it is when, it's, uh, when we're younger. Um, so that's why our bones get brittle and weak and then that's why they break e the easy. We get osteoporosis, we get arthritis, blah, 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 blah. All right, I am so fluffing annoyed. I literally recorded. So that only got to the ADK as you'll see. I probably spoke about another five other supplements, but that was already 22 minutes. So I'm gonna have to try and cut that down, which I don't think I'm gonna be able to. So I'm gonna have to do a part two in this, which is gonna have to go up next week. But you guys didn't get to see the finale of me swallowing like 30 pills down me little gobsmacker. I'm gonna end this here because it's already gonna go forever. I love you guys. Remember to like and subscribe. Um, I said in the last one, I keep saying arm um, and that's annoying me. I said in the last one, if it's too much for you all to remember, I should have done a few figurines, but I don't really know how to draw and I don't even know what I would draw. You can go to alphafortis.com.au. I'll put a link down below and there is a blog on there about all the supplements I've take, I, I take. I might do another one soon because I've added more in and I still got to do a nootropic one. So I'll just add it in with that one. Anyway, I love you all. I'm sorry you didn't hear, get to hear my stories. Um, this week's been a bit boring because work was boring, even though I smashed down a job and we've been in lockdown. Anyway, like, like and subscribe, stay healthy. Let's live forever together. You are amazing. Have a good week.